Hi everyone, Stuart Cove here for Last Man Diving. That's diving, not standing. Yes, I did get my inspiration from that popular TV series featuring my favorite comedian, Tim Allen. Tim's character in the show and I have a lot in common. We work in the outdoor industry. We are outnumbered by women. There's someone for you. Can you just come in? We, we both have strong opinions on everything from sporting goods to politics, and we use our blogs to vent those opinions. Like, for example, gun control. Where would we be without guns? We'd probably be speaking English or Spanish. Wait, who discovered the Americas again? Indians! Well, no matter. You get my point. What was my point anyway? Gun control. Oh, yeah. You might be surprised to learn that I'm 100% in favor of gun control. After all, you have to be able to control a gun if you ever need to shoot someone. But where I got the problem with guns is when people take them underwater and try to shoot one of my favorite fish like sharks. And if you shoot one of my sharks, just remember I can control this gun. It's a Maverick America. Why would anyone want to shoot such a miracle of nature for plastic replica to hang on their wall? That's what they are, you know. What a waste. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you trophy hunters and big game fishermen out there trade in your big guns for a little camera? And then you can make as many trophies as you want and blow them up as big as you like without hurting a single fish. Oh, a good little fish. Yeah, I'll take care of you. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not getting down on you hunters or spear fishermen if you're hunting to put food on the table. I've got no problem with that. In fact, it's the most ancient, sustainable way to eat. But you guys who go out and kill stuff for the sport, that's just plain pathetic. It means you're compensating for a shortage somewhere else in your makeup. And I think we all know where that shortage is. I also have a problem with longline fishermen and factory fishing ships that are literally raping the ocean fisheries with exploitive fishing practices. That's why I have based my life and livelihood on scuba diving and teaching others to dive. When people actually get in the water and meet its creatures firsthand, they fall in love with them, just like I did. And when you love something, it's only natural you'll want to protect it. So why do I call my blog Last Man Diving? Because, at least for now, I am not the last man diving, and I hope I never will be. You can make sure of that by learning to dive yourself or by visiting Stuart Coves to renew your love for the sea. Click on the link in the description and go to lastmandiving.com and you can take advantage of my special offers available only to Last Man Diving subscribers, like our Discover Scuba Diving and Snuba Smashals. Snuba Specials, Snuba Specials, Snuba Specials. Like our Discover Scuba Diving and Snuba Specials and Snuba Specials. Sound like a deal? I'll see you there. Snuba special, Snuba special, Snuba specials.